Welcome, this is Alex, and I have some gameplay tips in store for you for Watch Dogs Legion. If you're new to my style of advanced tips videos, well, my goal with these is to not make the game necessarily easier for you, tell you where exactly all the 763 chicken nuggets are hidden on the map, or tell you that you have to wiki meta your character build just like everyone else. Instead, I tend to focus on things you can do to improve the overall fun factor of the moment-to-moment -moment core gameplay, because that's what I consider to be the most important element in gaming, enjoying that. I've played the entirety of Legion now and have some pretty unique stuff in store that I think you'll definitely have some fun playing around with. So without further explanation, let's get into the 7 main tips that I wish I knew from the very start of Watch Dogs 3rd Outing. First off, Unorthodox Access. Gaining access to restricted areas and bypassing locked doors is a huge component in Legion, and there are some unorthodox ways to convince doors to open up for you that some might consider to be unnatural. Instead of taking the time to get a spider bot or yourself to a closed circuit door terminal for example, if you can just get line of sight on it, simply destroying it by any means necessary will also work just as well as getting to it and hacking it, albeit somewhat louder of course. However, say you can't quite easily get to the panel or see it, and just want to brute force get past it with as little thinking as possible, a lot of the time, noise, combined with the guards or work staff of the area, will eagerly accidentally open the door for you instead. You can simply shoot at the door to draw attention, which is quite noisy, or you can take the more insultory approach and taunt your way into gaining access. This even works on doors normally requiring a download key to open first, which further allows for a more straightforward, loud and barbaric approach while still keeping that tactical hacker approach still there for those who choose to play that way. Number 2, the Action Hero Eject. So, let's say you're being pursued by the authorities and want to quickly retaliate, or just want to park in style, well, you'll need to be able to exit your vehicle in a timely manner without doing this. The fastest way i found to exit a vehicle going at high speeds is to pull directly, specifically to the right with the handbrake, followed by getting out of the vehicle halfway through the spin around animation. If you try to get out too soon during this maneuver, you'll flop out instead, so make sure you delay that last input until a quarter of a second after you input the handbrake turn. Also, since this is based in London, you're driving from the right hand side of your car of course, so turning left to do this takes quite a bit longer since your character has to swap to the other side of the car before they actually get out. I use this quite often to get those pesky pursuers off my tail quickly, or adversely, usually just make it all worse with my more aggressive playstyle. Next, Flying Treasure. If you choose to unlock the Parcel Fox drone hacks, this unleashes a package stealing madman into the world of Legion, being you. With this, any Parcel Fox drone can be hijacked and the contents in its boxes, yours to claim. The standard white boxes will give you some in-game currency, the orange boxes will have a diamond icon on the minimap when they're flying by and provide an even larger payout, then there are the red packages with a little ammunition symbol on the minimap which can be used as impromptu explosives you can drop on your enemies, or you can collect them. So yes, the entire game world is swarming with money and explosives flying just above you at pretty much all times. If you happen to find an abnormally busy drone intersection, you can post up there for a bit, gather a nice little bundle of gifts, and acquire some funds fairly quickly, with improved results depending on how many NPCs you have on your team with the Invest perk, which passively improves the income for your entire team. If you're in dire needs of snagging all the weapon skins and apparel items, you're going to need money to do so, so good old fashioned stealing of everyone's incoming birthday presents will pump up your bank account quite nicely. It's honestly kinda hard to tell who the real bad guy is in Legion because you're kind of a jerk. Alright, so who do I want to play as next? Street artist? Maybe. Ooh, construction worker, that cargo drone is super useful. Or maybe a hacker, I kind of feel like playing stealthy. 
Then there's this new guy I just got. Um, he kind of sucks, nah. Ooh, the beekeeper, there we go. Let's use her. Number four, unlock the beekeeper. Whenever you clear a district in Legion by increasing the defiance level, you will then unlock a specialty mission that will give you access to a district specific special operative. I've tried them all, cleared the map, and I must say, I wish I had focused on the City of London district first, because playing as a beekeeper is just plain fun. This class can summon electronic bees which will swarm multiple targets, which can then be detonated with the class's unique weapon, the Overcharger. I definitely recommend trying to unlock the beekeeper ASAP so you can enjoy playing them as much as possible. And also, side note, if you don't like this class's kinda over the top outfit, you can simply throw on some regular clothes by switching off of its default outfit in your wardrobe. Next, drone weak spots. This one can easily be not noticed for a good chunk of the game, but those obnoxious drones hunting you down all the time actually have weak spots on them that make them go down very quickly if destroyed. For the riot style drones, you will find a canister on the back of them with a slight orange glow around it, which is really easy to nail after a quick disable hack on them. Then the beefier combat drones, a little more difficult but when they're reloading, they open up these vents on their undercarriage, which is where their most vulnerable bits must be. Use this intel to your advantage to take down these flying pests a little faster, and save some of that ammo in the process. Number 6, the Combat Spiderbot. This one is more of just a personal playstyle preference, but I really got the most use out of the combat spiderbot gadget because of a few key reasons. Just having a spiderbot on you at all times to do the frequent little environmental puzzles in Legion is worthwhile enough, but the combat one goes a step further thanks to its, well, combat abilities, which allows it to fire automatically on nearby targets. However, the reload time before this little guy can fire off again is quite long even after being upgraded, but as long as you don't let it get fully destroyed kicking the gadget back into cooldown, you can continually throw this out and recall it back, which also resets its ability to fire. This tactic alone makes the combat spider bot much more deadly, but also another cool use I found for it is to turn it into a mobile turret. If you throw this on a flying cargo drone or just on the back of a car, you can then freely roam around with a defensive buddy that's got your back. If you fully upgrade this, you can manually fire it yourself as well, giving you access to your own mounted gun on the top of any vehicle. Pretty useful little device. Lastly, number 7, Risk-Free Vehicles. Taking any vehicle with a human driver is considered stealing, no surprises there, which will alert the authorities if they see you hijacking someone. However, many of the vehicles have no drivers or passengers in them, which are being automatically piloted, indicated by the big glowing A on the windshield. These vehicles will simply say enter instead of steal when you approach them, making for completely free vehicles you can take without the risk of alerting anyone. Also, if you really want a vehicle that's being commandeered by someone without any illegal hassle, just find a way to annoy them out of their ride, and Finders Keepers, now it's yours to freely take. That's it, those are all 7 of the main tips I wanted to showcase here today that I felt would help you squeeze a little more enjoyment out of Watch Dogs Legion. If you happen to enjoy the gameplay systems and mechanics focus of my independently owned and operated channel, consider sticking around because I have some big projects coming up in the next few months that you'll probably enjoy if you like the style of what I did here. Let me know what your thoughts are on Watch Dogs Legion if you're picking it up, already playing it, or are just vicariously absorbing the game by watching this video. As always, this has been Alex from Boomstick Gaming, and thanks for giving this a watch.